we've only got about three minutes, unfortunately, left to talk through four okay. minutes, but we'll get in as much as we can. Salisbury Hill, of course, from Peter Gabriel at uh, 23 minutes past two on BBC Three Counties Radio. Hoss Madavi, my guest in the studio, uh, now living in Hertfordshire and uh, running a, a successful photography business now, Hoss, because that's how we met, wasn't it? That's right. I was uh, photographing on behalf of uh, my news mag. Um, we have a uh, family portrait and wedding studio. I also do double in fashion wherever I can. Um, we're basically social photographers. I'm a fellow of the Master Photographers Association and mm. uh, British Institute of Professional Photography. So, a pretty eminent, it's fair to say. Sort of. <laughs> where did you learn your skill? Um, it's all self thought. I really enjoyed watching. I was, uh, I was quite good at art when I was young, so it's just I enjoy photography and filming and that type of thing. So, We were talking earlier ab about you know, you looking back on your country uh, now from here and feeling a bit sad. Do you genuinely worry when you talk politics, no matter where you are in the world, about reprisals? Well, there was a lot of uh, people who actually tried to do something when they came out of Iran and things. They were either assassinated, killed or destroyed, whatever. So, you know, we were lear we, we learned as a child, as a youngster, you keep things to yourself and you don't talk too much, you don't say things about uh, things that you, you, you don't want to get involved in. So your views are to yourself. Until and do you, do you, is that a view shared by lots of expat Iranians? A, a lot of them, yes. They rather stay away. The Iranians, as as general, I think they're not sort of people who want to fight or be at war or anything like that. It's just. Um, things that happen around them, and they want to stay. Um, I mean, in World War Two, they stayed totally neutral. It was the only neutral ground you could go to. W would you go back? Could you go back? Um, I don't know whether I could go back. I, I can go back. I can get uh, my passport and go back again, and uh, there won't be any problems. But um, I have only distant relatives there, and for me, it's really memories of the past, and I really don't want to... Uh, in any way destroy that. Although um, my brother has been there and they say how beautiful it is, how lovely it looks and how clean it is. You, you were telling me uh, off air you've got a wife obviously now and two children. Okay. Um, uh, I've, been married, they... I've been married 25 years to Tracy. I have a son Daniel who's 21, he's finishing university studying law at King's College London and uh, my uh, younger son, Oliver, is at Loughborough University doing English and literature. Do they have any desire to go? They'd like to see Iran. They'd like to see where I was born and what was around. And these days, both of them have become very interested in, in the history of our family, where we came from, and how sort of a cocktail of blood we have in them. <laughs> so. It's a fascinating story and it's what inspired me to get you into the studio today and I wish we had more time to talk but unfortunately we don't um, when, as you say, we met at, at the, the election count in Watford but uh, what we do know of you has been fascinating and thank you very much indeed for uh, coming in Hoss and sharing your story today. Thank you for inviting me. Hoss Madavi. Um, it is BBC Three Counties Radio coming up to uh, 27 minutes past two. 11. Nice one, thank, thank you. you. I thought that was—I could have talked to you for another half hour, happily. Um, if there's anything else, you know, quite well, this happy is to it. come. Photography as well, you know, will okay. yeah, if you give want you to in if you're talking about, you know, if we need a photography expert on the radio. Anytime. Great. Seriously. Lovely. Thank, thank you, you so much. much, my friend. Lovely to meet you. Now, let me give you your... Well,